Good morning, folks. Hey, welcome to this week, February 7th. So it is our first full week, uh, so hopefully everyone's going to adjust just well. We'll be patient with that. And uh, thanks, Ms. Skiba, for the prayer. So we have a few things to talk about. One, just a reminder, make sure you get your daily self-assessment finished. Please do that. Please wear your mask and wear it properly on your face. And please be kind to people. I know we're all getting tired with all this stuff, but kindness is what we uh, are all about. That's an important virtue. So uh, a couple other things I see up there. Day two notes. Schedule changes by appointment only. Okay, so if you're in a class you don't like, you need to go in onto the website, uh, St. Mary's, and click that button to get a guidance appointment. If you do need your locker, okay, so we do want you using those lockers. You don't need to carry your bags all around all day. Uh, check that. Check in with Mrs. Duncan in the main office. She'll help you with that. Chromebooks for new students, they're down in the main office, and they've been assigned, so you can uh, collect those. So you are uh, going to figure that out. The seven minutes in between classes is a little quicker, so make sure you're using your time appropriately. That's when you would use your, the washroom. That's when you're going to go to your locker. Um, you need to be in, in the class before the bell rings. Uh, lunch, uh, that's okay, that one just left, but lunch, there is a 10 minute warning bell. I would say on Friday, um, folks, you did a good job with that. So thank you with that. No, we're good. No, yeah, look at me dancing around here, making that thing go back and forth. Locker update. Uh, if you're in locker number 42166529, please see Mrs. Duncan. Uh oh, you're in the wrong locker, maybe. Okay, what else we got there? Math contest announcement. The next round of math contests is coming up soon. There will be a meeting Monday, today, at lunch in room 318 for any students interested in participating. Students from Mr. Kemp's first semester classes, if you wish to sign the class tile, please stop by today at lunch to sign. Just before we go on, I'll just say that announcement, well, we, yeah, we can go on because what I want to announce to everyone is that we are going to start to uh, begin our extracurricular and some clubs. There are still some restraints around what athletics will look like, but we're able to start to do some extra things. Uh, so if you had a club or a team, uh, you can connect with that teacher. And, and they're just starting to get stuff figured out, so give us a day or two. On Wednesday, we'll have our late taxis ready for you. Um, and that we'll start again with late taxi. So Wednesday, Thursday, this week, and then a regular schedule Monday through Thursday the following week. Okay, thanks, Mr. Murphy, and thanks, Gia. Okay, semester one artwork. It's still sitting there on the stage. A lot of it's getting picked up. Uh, it will be gone by this Friday, so make sure you get your artwork picked up. Visual Ceramics Club returns, and that's what I just kind of talked about. So we are uh, going to start again. We're all up and running. Uh, no late taxis yet. Uh, so make prior arrangements, but it looks like Mr. Annette's there to stay from 3 to 5 tonight. Thank you, sir, for that. We have some birthdays, but before we get to the birthdays, we've got some uh, folks here, some young ladies that are going to uh, share a message with you, a very important message. So I'll step out of the way. Welcome in, ladies. All right. Good morning, St. Mary's staff and students. Every February, people across Canada participate in Black History Month events and festivities that honor the legacy of Black Canadians and their communities. The 2022 theme for Black History Month is February and Forever, celebrating Black history today and every day, which focuses on recognizing the daily contributions that Black Canadians make to Canada. No matter where you live, all Canadians are invited to share more about these communities and how they continue to shape the story of Canada. Black story, history in Canada. Black Canadians and their communities have been a part of shaping Canada's heritage and identity since the arrival of Machu de la Costa, a navigator and interpreter whose presence in Canada dates back to the early 1600s. The role of black Canadians and their communities in Canada has largely been ignored as a key part of Canada's history. There is little mention that some of the loyalists who came here after the American Revolution and settled in the Maritimes were people of African descent, nor the fact that many soldiers of African descent made many sacrifices in wartime as far back as the War of 1812. 
Few people in Canada are aware of the fact that African people were once enslaved in the territory, territory that is now known as Canada, or of how those who fought, enslaved, who fought enslavement helped to lay the foundation of Canada's diverse and inclusive society. Black History Month is a time to learn more about these Canadian stories and the other important contributions that black Canadians and their communities have made to the history and continued growth of this country. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you very much. What's that? Oh, right. Thank you. So uh, a couple other quick announcements. Staff, there are four buses that are running late. So if we can hold off attendance, I think the 9.30, uh, but just kind of get a sense if you've got some kids coming in late, then you can always make that adjustment as well. But wait until 9.30. And uh, I think that's it for the announcements, but we do have some birthdays, and our birthdays include on the weekend, Hope Ashcroft celebrated on Saturday, and on Sunday, Larissa Mason, Connor Peterson King, and Braden Simpson also celebrated on the weekend. And no one's got a birthday today. We'll wait till tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. <coughs>